Welcome back, our very good friend, the executive chef of the Peninsula Beverly Hills, Mr. David Codd. We're so excited to have you here. Thank you. Lacey stuck around because she was so excited to have We're your Wellington. Excited. Yes. As well as singer-songwriter extraordinaire, Mr. Callum Scott, who's going to sing for us. And just I'm not very <laughs> you should be because he's from England and this is a traditional English, sort of. Yes. But we made it American today. Yes, you have. You, this is a, a traditional recipe that you've put a sort of twist on. How so? So traditional beef wellington actually is done with a uh, tenderloin or a chateau cut, if you will. Okay. But ultimately, you know, we're not all professional chefs at home. So we take it and we do a braised short rib. So what we want to start doing with this is you're going to salt, pepper, and flour your short ribs as you come in here. So you're going to go all the way in. Okay. Put it in your beautiful pot that you have. Some okay. little uh, olive oil or butter, if you will, and you're just going to get them till brown. How and long? How long? Till until they're brown. Until they're brown. Okay, right? good answer. So, yeah. meet them. You can't really overcook these because they're going to brace. But I think that's why people are so intimidated about making beef wellington because they're so worried they're going to overcook the meat or undercook it. They don't I really know. I would agree. So, this is a braised item, so you can't overcook or undercook. Okay, you're going to so do this ahead of time. And can you do this the day before and put it Do in? this the day before let it sit. It's actually better that way. It could, the I know. flavors come together. Yeah. All right, so we take them out, we set them aside, right. and then we, in that beautiful pot, in the pot with all with the juices. All the funk the juices in there. What you're going to do is you're going to take this, add your vegetables to it. You're going to brown off your vegetables going in. And what vegetables do we have? This there? is carrots, onions, celery, garlic, called mirepoix. Mirepoix. Yeah. So we're going to make this uh, more advanced here. Okay. And you're going to add your short ribs back to this pot. Look Beautiful. how nice that is, huh? So nice. This is out it's of so right. Well, it. uh, he is an good. executive chef. You guys are good. No, no, for real. Guys, yeah. This is amazing. And what else is amazing is the dynamic that you two have known each other for a while, right? A long time. I could just, I could just a long time. Like two days. Like a short yeah. Two days. <laughs> <laughs> we know each other a long time. All right, like a so a little bit of red wine. Okay, a okay, little bit. Okay, and all we're going to do is take that with those little bits on the bottom of it, and you're just going to pick it up literally Ooh. so it's in there. Yeah, good, good, And good. then how long do we leave this on top, on the stove top? Uh, this is going to boil down for a little bit. You want to reduce this by half. All right. A little bit more, it's fine. A little bit less, it's fine. Doesn't really matter. Okay. okay? Then you're gonna add this stuff called beef stock. Okay. okay. The very fancy beef stock. Beef you can stock. buy it in a box at the <laughs> store. Yes, you can truly. Okay. Right. You're gonna add beef stock just about right. almost to cover. I don't know if you can see that. See? Okay. Right. And then you're gonna add this beautiful stuff called demi glace. What exactly is demi glace? This is fancier beef stock. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It is it's 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 just, the French I mean, version of beef it's stock. It's the French version. I'm, I'm going to steal your spoon. So here right. we go. So the beef stock's going to go in here, and then the demi's going to go in here. This and because is, if it's French, it's I can charge more. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, the, the demi glass is going to go in. You're going to bring this up to a little bit of boil. Okay. And you're going to cover the pot with All whatever right. cover you want. We are going to then take this and put this in the oven. Oh, it goes inside. Oh, How yeah. long? Beautiful, right? How and, long? Uh, uh, Till it's. Probably four hours. <laughs> four hours. Yeah, three and a half hours. Uh, three fifty, three twenty-five. Okay, so low, Ish. low and yeah. slow. Low and slow. Low and slow. That's going to allow right. it to braise. Well, it when it's to... done, you're going to put it in the refrigerator. You're going to let it cool. Oh, yes. Okay. Awesome, right. And so then, this takes a long time. This doesn't take a long. It's a couple steps, but it's a Wellington. It's this a, is exactly. Christmas. Exactly. It is Christmas. I know. And then the the very important puff pastry. Okay. Portion so of puff this. pastry, you're going to buy at the store because you're not going to make this at home. Right? All right. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. And again, you make puff No, I don't. But the you make puff pastry? No. Okay. The truth you got is. So, right. <laughs> mushroom duck cell. Ooh, right? Ooh. What is mushroom what duck cell? What is mushroom duck cell? Mushroom duck cell is mushroom puree. That's French. It's French, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. I know. So, you're going to yeah. take a little bit and put it on the bottom, right? This All right. looks very difficult. Beautiful. Right? Then you're going to take your short ribs after they're cooled. All right. You're going to pull them out, right? So you have these cool little pieces, right? Okay. And you're telling me four hours later, this is not even close to being overcooked. We're going to cook again. It's overcooked. It's fine. Okay. It's just softer. All right. It'll be good for grandma. Right, so you put this thing in. Okay, we're gonna take this. Okay, guy and now we're gonna fold it. All right, yeah, we have to make it look pretty. Over, right, so this is the arts and crafts side for all you arts and crafts. This is, oh, Ooh, this is your DIY. Right? DIY, it. DIY today, right? You can make some slits in the side. Ooh, I know, so fancy, fancy. right? This is just. Why the slit? It's pastry well, this fringe. is gonna help. Watch. It's pastry literally. Fringe. I'm doing this in my DIY today. <laughs> you're doing what? I'm doing making the slits slit. like That's this. Amazing, right? <laughs> Except she's making a gingerbread train. You're kind of like the same thing. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna pull these over. Okay. And as I do this for you, of course, it doesn't work. There you right? go. There you go. Wow, this is amazing. <laughs> now, do you serve this at the restaurant? We do, actually. We do this in the hotel. We do this at Christmas time for our supper club. Big seller, right? It's a big seller. And this also helps because we're not doing the um, tenderloin side. This is more of a short rib. So right. we can do these ahead of time. As you're doing the... Um the magic there. Let me ask you this. I know uh, since we're uh, celebrating uh, Christmas in July, you've got a great Christmas tradition with the kids. With I the twins. do have. Tell a us a little bit about so, that. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to fill some time here. Obviously, you're, you're doing an amazing work. <laughs> Look at that. But at the same time, <gasps> we can learn more about Christmas in your house. So with the kids at home, we do this thing. Uh, yeah, let's take it off the puppy. Yeah, let me take it. There we go. That's go. even better. See, look at you. There you go. Um, 
We do this thing with Christmas ornaments where we hide a Christmas pickle <laughs> under the tree the night before, and we let the kids go at it. And it's very difficult to find a glitter pickle in a green Christmas tree. Can I ask you where this glitter pickle is? <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. It was German, and then it was brought over here. And listen, we're not here to talk about the history. We're talking, here to talk about <laughs> really, really. Of course, the ever-famous Christmas pickle. Everybody I'm really knows. glad I brought it up. I'm right. not happy okay. because now I'm, I'm thinking. But okay, I love so. that we've done that. It's beautiful. It almost looks like a little pie. I know. It is like a pie, like a shepherd's pie. <laughs> there you go. Mm -hmm. Way better. So you're gonna brush this with egg wash. <laughs> egg wash. Right? Okay. Just go all in there. Okay, but could you use any, if you didn't want to do the egg wash, could you do like a cream or a No, yeah, egg wash. Okay, egg wash. All right. All right, executive Why are you chef. I'm not to doing change this. Well, it's because it's any protein really. Aren't we just trying to get a no, sheen on it? We're not it? trying to do any protein. Okay, we want an egg right. wash. Okay. <laughs> This is why I don't work I for don't, him in the kitchen. I don't understand this. I, I'd like to remind everybody at home that they really do know each other pretty well. <laughs> but this is another point where I'm just going to reject that so we understand the dynamic. Yeah. Okay, so also, the kitchen is well. Okay. Yeah. This is it. So if you wanted to cut a couple slits, it's very important that you have some venting going on. Okay. I know. Oh. This, there's a lot of moisture in here, right? Okay. So if you wanted scissors, you can pinch this. If you want to slice the top of it, you could slice just the top. Or it like yeah, that. Yeah, and it's going to come out with a little pattern, right? Okay. You're going to look fancy, and you can impress your family at home. And you can charge more. And you can charge, you can charge right. more. <laughs> Ultimately, that's what it's all that's, about. Yeah. Or you come on TV. Yeah, and you can for free. Like yes, exactly. Oh my God. All right, so amazing. Pop this in so for you're going to go in the oven. This is going to be uh, 425. And then, voila. Oh! Voila. And now we serve it with a beautiful gravy. Now we serve it with some gravy. So you're going to take that sauce that's with the short ribs. Okay. The short ribs come out. You're going to strain the vegetables. You're going to reduce that down. Okay. Very simple and easy, right? So we can go here. Wow, look oh. at this. Oh. Oh, I David. Know. Too nice. It's outrageous. Unbelievable. <laughs> outrageous. Unbelievable, <laughs> right? Some of this. Schmickety schmack. Schmickety schmack. Right? Now, when I come to the restaurant, you don't have to pretend that you're not there. I know, this is true. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Although we have a good thing going yeah. with this. We have, we have a good thing going. Every time I show up, they say, Well, I'm sorry, David's not here today. <laughs> no, they first say, Okay, and then they and come then back. And then they come back. That's the funny thing. They go, Oh, yeah, and they come back and say, David's not here today. Nope. Because <laughs> we know when she ballets, right. she's here. Oh, stop it. All right, let's go. Would you like to? I cut would love this? to. Here I go. Gosh. Again, guys. I'm excited. So truly delicious. David's like, I've had this before. I'm, I'm good. Many times. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> David. So it's tender. It's Look good. Look at that. Right? You can't mess it up. Lord.